He's dancing. You might get a boo boo, he said. All right, guys, today we are at Target in Canton, Ohio. Somebody told me that they are absolutely stocked with Halloween, so we're gonna go inside and see. And look at this, guys. Here it is. Oh, so awesome, I'm so excited, guys. Lots of Halloween stuff set up. All right, let's just, let's go down here and dig in. Okay, I have to start right here because what in the world? Look, these are all like fruits that are carved like jack-o'-lanterns. Look at the lemons. Look, they're called Lit Lemons. How hilarious is that? How much are these? Five bucks for two lemons that are carved like jack-o'-lanterns. And there's a little light inside. It's an LED light, so they actually do light up. There's oranges, and these look more like jack-o'-lanterns than anything because they're orange. All right, let's keep moving here. We've got tomatoes. Wait a minute. No, these aren't tomatoes. These are apples. Lit apples carved like pumpkins. Okay, we got pears. Look at the face on those. And look at this. It's like a strawberry skull. What in the world? That is so cool. This one's like a green pepper, like a skull. That's awesome. Here's a stack of fruity licious skulls. What in the heck? This one looks like it's supposed to be on fire. What is that supposed to be? All right, let's look. Uh, dragon fruit and cantaloupe skulls. Look at that. Here's a giant pear, and then here's a fruit stack, and what is this, a watermelon here. I've seen people actually carve real watermelons um, when it's not even around Halloween, but they can't wait for Halloween to get here. And then we have like the regular blow mold uh, pumpkins down here. Look, it's like a mix between a pumpkin and I guess that's supposed to be a rib cage. Is this supposed to be a skeleton arm? That's like a bone and there's the hand. Okay, let's go over here a minute, guys, because look at these headstones. Look at this, Mr. Grimm. They not only have a Mr. Grimm at the spirit, they have Mr. Grimm here too. Okay, hold on, we got a button, let's try it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Boo to you too, that one lights up. And here's a couple of ghosties on this one. Yeah, look at that. I'm kind of surprised the top one doesn't light up, but that looks pretty cool anyway. What is this? Okay, cemetery kit. Oh, I see, it's like a whole kit of ghosts that you hang up. Pathway markers, I don't think they light up or anything, but pretty cool. Look at this one, touch nothing and nothing will touch you. And then we got this one here, until next time. Oh, I think it lights up too. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay, look, this one has an arm that apparently moves. Here's a button. It's a spooky night, and I'd like to say, please grab your treat and be on your way. <laughs> Fright this way, it says. All right, I gotta see what this one is. It's a skeleton. Mm, oh, okay. It's like a, another cemetery kit that you set up with the skeletons and the... Uh, headstones there. Okay, what do they call these things? I mean, I know it's a scarecrow, but it's like a a body, a headless body that you put a pumpkin on. You can carve your own pumpkin and put it on the top of there. And here's one that looks like a skeleton. Let's see. Okay, this is oh, this is like just a uh, blow mold um, mummy looking pumpkin, but you can set it on there if you want to. These are actually pretty heavy. Apparently so they don't like blow over in the wind or something. They gotta be sturdy so they can hold your pumpkin. All right, we'll put your head right back on there. I'm sorry, Mr. Mummy. Let's see what this is here. Okay, we got a light up button. Ooh, look at this. Watch this. Yeah, that's cool. Is it changing colors or is it just orange? I think it's just orange. Mini light up pumpkin blow molds. And I don't wanna pass up this guy down here. This is a big one. This is also like a blow mold. It's got a LED light on the inside. Look at this, we have a whole pumpkin totem pole here. I think this lights up too. Yeah, if you look inside, you can see that little light and these are those are kind of strewn throughout the inside here. So the whole thing lights up. And look at these over here, look at these pumpkins. Okay, look at these eyes. Uh, okay, cool, look at that. So candy would be dandy, uh, but a sweater would be better. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> what in the world? Like, why does he have to sound like Mater from Cars? Okay. Stalin. Okay, and look at these guys. These are apparently pumpkin misters. So that's a mister thing in there. Not like a missus, but a mister. Where you probably put some water in there. Oh, the top came off in my hand. Okay, let's put that right back on there. So anyways, as I was saying, you put some water in there. There's a minimum and maximum thing back there. You fill it up apparently, and it makes a mist come out of the pumpkin's mouth. Okay, let's come back over here because I noticed the skull totem pole. I don't know if this lights up. There's holes in the eyes. So I would assume that it does. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe we have a button. Do we have a button? No, we don't have a button. Stacked skulls, battery operated. Yeah. So there are lights inside and you turn it on and the eyes light up. Okay, we got a lit skeleton arm lantern. Oh, look. Okay. Crap, my arm's in the way. Hold on. Let's see if I can do this different. Okay, push the button. The lantern lights up, and it's a skeleton arm holding the lantern. What is this hiding back here? Novelty eyewear. It's like pumpkin glasses. Okay, and I think this is a unicorn. Does it have a try me button? Yes, okay, let's see. Well, okay, it lights up, but it doesn't do anything. I thought maybe it would talk. There's the unicorn on the unicorn. Look, we got a snake bones that goes all the way up to the snake head. And there always has to be a bag of bones. This is cool up here, though. You set this up as if he's climbing out of the ground. Okay, here's a skull like I was trying to show you the other day, but it wasn't working. You push the button. It blows that up and looks like flames coming out his head. How cool is that? Who is this hiding in the cage? Okay, oh, we got a button on here too. Ah, oh, yes. Hey, over here. Nice costume. Trade ya. <laughs> <laughs> he said, trade ya. A skull wreath. And then we got the full size skeletons here. I think these are, looks like these are posable. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, he's posable, so you can make it to where he like sits in chairs or whatever you want him to do. Okay, let's go down here. We have some hanging Halloween-y fellows. Let's start with the witch. These all have try-me buttons. Oh, crap, come on. I hear they don't work. Oh, okay, this one kind of works. The eye is just light up. Okay, so that means that this one must light up, and this one must light up, and this one must light up. Yes, this one works. Okay, look at the face on the skeleton. Oh, okay, I see. I have to pull the tab. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to kill somebody else's battery. But we know the face lights up. Look at all these. They all have these posable arms, but they look like they're all part of Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. What in the world? Are we going to hear that again? He said, don't eat so much candy all the time because then your teeth will fall out and you'll have to eat applesauce. Okay, let's try the ghost. So many scary sights to see, but your costume is what most frightens me. Okay. It's hilarious, because like you usually find these things, you push the button and it makes like really scary sounds or says something scary. But this one cracks me up because he's the one that's scared. That is cool. That's more of like a classic Halloween-y type thing. All right, let's try this guy here. Oh, look, his eyes glow green. He doesn't make any sounds, but he's pretty cool. Let's try this one. Your time has come. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Looks like the colors around his eyes and his nose change too. Let's try it again. Yep. <laughs> okay, we got one more here with a button. Oh. He's dancing. You might get a boo-boo, he said. 
<laughs> oh wait, we got Mister in a coffin down here. Let's get that off of there. Oh. What in the world? Okay. Okay. And we got this skeleton guy down here too. Jack-o-lantern groundbreaker. Ooh, he turns his head. Spooky sounds. <laughs> All right, that's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, look, they have the crashing witch that you uh, put up around your tree. You wrap her arms and legs around the tree, and it looks like she flew right into it and smashed her face. We got a couple other hanging spooky guys here. Ooh, look at the pumpkin, I like that. And look at it, oh, this one's got a, a button here. Let's try it. <laughs> he sounds like an alien. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, we have the spooky living tree set, too. Let me pull it down here. Hold on. Let's check this out. You attach this to your tree. It's arms and a face. Look at that. That is pretty cool right there. And then, of course, the floating ghost. Ghosts are always awesome. So spooky. Look, there's skeleton feet that you stick in the ground to make it look like he's popping out. Oh, and it looks like we have the hands here. So you got the skeleton hands. The thumbs are up. A, and then you got the legs here so you can stick them in the ground like that make him look like he's coming up out of the ground and then we have green like witch or zombie hands here too i love when there's bags of skulls that's hilarious and then look at this what is this like random skeleton hands okay Ooh, we got a bag of snakes a bunch of black snakes in there how many are in there dang like 10 and then we got a bag of bats here too there's four bats here. You could hang these from your ceiling. Spiders. Man, you gotta love Halloween. There's a bag of 150 spiders. You lay these all over on your counters and stuff. More headstones here. Look at this one. Haunt you later. Fright this way. Trick or treat. Now look at these up here. I love how there's colors on these. Orange skulls. What's it say? Gone for now. Oh, we got some inflatables over here, guys. Look, this is like an inflatable hot air balloon. It's got a pumpkin on top and a pumpkin boy in the basket. Oh, it's a cauldron. It's not even a basket. We got an inflatable skeleton here. Four feet. Inflatable little ghost. Look, he's like, duh. <laughs> what is this? Stacked skulls. Okay. Here's a Jack Skellington inflatable. Oh, and here's the uh, hot air balloon, $80 for him. That is pretty cool, I like that. I almost missed this guy here, a giant 12-foot inflatable reaper. Look at this pirate cat here. Hmm, okay, what are these? Is this like a projector, or? I don't know, maybe it's just, maybe the skull is only that big. Hang it on the wall, they got a skull, and a bat, and a ghost, and a pumpkin, and apparently they flicker. Okay, I think you hang it on your wall and the light comes out from out behind it. We got the wire ghost up here. Look at the little pumpkin basket he has, like he's going trick-or-treating. And then there's a trick-or-treat boy down here. I like his green shirt. Giant five-foot fuzzy spider that lights up. Oh, cool, look at these string lights. They have spiders here, and then they have black cat shapes. And what's this one? Oh, it's like birds, blackbirds, like ravens. Look at this one. It's eyes, spooky eyes. Oh, look, here's the animated eyes like what was on those pumpkins and stuff back there. Let's try them. Do they talk? No, but they move. Oh. They make spooky sounds, at least. You could hide those in the bushes or in the trees. A cackling witch, even. Look, we have a whole bag of pumpkin scavenger hunt Easter eggs. I love that idea, like stealing it from the Easter egg hunt. You put little candies and stuff inside these Easter eggs, which look like little pumpkins, and you hide those. 
Oh, here's our pumpkin glasses like we saw a few minutes ago. I think these are also bats. But look, this whole aisle here is just like party favors. Clapper hands. Oh my gosh, Halloween bubbles here. Look at this, erasers. It's a whole stationary pack. Oh, somebody opened it. Erasers and little notebooks and pencils. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's rubber skull erasers. This is the coolest thing ever. Multicolored vampire teeth. And what in the heck is this? Is this more bubbles? Yeah, these are like little individual bubble uh, containers or something. Whole pack of witch fingers. Okay, wait, these aren't actually witch fingers. These are just like regular fingers in all different Halloween-y colors. And then when you have more up here, I mean, they kind of look like witch fingers. I wonder if these... I thought maybe these were glow-in-the-dark because they're just clear, but I guess not. Halloween slime. All kinds of different Halloween colors there. And I don't know why, but I love the Halloween erasers so much. Look, you got pumpkins in there and black cats and skulls. Those are so awesome. Look at this, there's little treat buckets here, but you guys can keep those because I want the monster-sized treat bucket. This is huge, guys. You could actually use this as like a cooler if you were having a Halloween party. Just put ice and water in there and a bunch of drinks, like a little hugs drinks. Here's one of those pumpkins that you unfold and put on the, um, the middle of your table. Here's a banner that says trick or treat. Oh, and look at these balloons. These are awesome. Eight count pumpkin face balloons. They're orange balloons with pumpkin faces. And here's white ones with like skeleton faces. I miss having Halloween parties, man. Look at these awesome plates and napkins. Look at the pumpkins on this one, the different faces. That is so funny. Look at the shape of this one. It's a pumpkin stack. I think this is my favorite though. This is so cool. Just the traditional carved pumpkin jack-o'-lantern plate. Look, we even have orange paper straws. Here's black ones with spider webs. Oh, we have more things with buttons over here. What is this? Oh, this is pretty cool. Look at this. You fill, this is an actual drink container. You fill this up with whatever drink you want. And then like if it's green or blue or orange or whatever, you turn it on and it illuminates you can't see where the light is in there right now. You can kind of see it. But when you turn it on, it lights up whatever color drink you have in there. That is really cool. I love that. And look at this. We got a candelabra. Oh, look at that. That's spooky, too. Orange candles with flames flickering. Ghostly candy bowl? Okay, I think this guy... Yeah, he's got a button, too. Let's try it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you are a funny guy. Is that all we get? A boo? Oh my gosh. Okay. Pretty cool anyways, though. You put the candy in the bowl, and then I guess it's like motion activated. Yeah. Somebody walks by, and it kicks on. That's all he does. He says boo and laughs at you for taking candy. Look at this Simpsons mug. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. All right, it's one of those that when you put the hot liquid in, it changes colors. So it looks like this, but then when you put like your hot chocolate in there, it looks like that second one there. That is really cool. And here's another one with Oogie Boogie. He's just on there in white and black, the trio of terror. But then when you put your, your uh, hot liquid in there, that's what it turns to right there, purple. Okay, this is cool. This is how you make luminaries. You get the paper bags, like your lunch bags, and then you stick these stickers on there to make the faces. And then you put a little candle or, you know, like a little battery-operated candle in there. That would be better so it didn't burn down. But then you put them on, like, your walkway. That is pretty cool. We used to make those and draw the faces on with black markers. And look, they have the carvable pumpkins, too. They're not the greatest color I've ever seen. That's a really strange color of orange and green okay but they got the bigger ones the smaller ones and very small ones these are like softball sizes and these are cool instead of actually carving a pumpkin you take these and you stick them into the pumpkin like look at this one here's a batman this is pretty awesome my friend bruce would love this you paint it and then you stick the batman head and arms in it and it looks like a batman pumpkin tons of pumpkin carving stuff here and then over here on the end, 
They have like the books that you can use to pick out different kinds of uh, carving patterns and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Alien push-in kit. That's kind of like the ones I was just showing you over there. You paint your pumpkin green and then you push the eyes and the hands in. That is so funny. I love that so much. And here's a scoop. I bet you this scoop is better than using like a regular uh, scoop that you would have at the house because I always bend them and get in trouble. <laughs> here's pumpkin tea lights. These ones are actually shaped like little pumpkins. These are much better than actually using tea lights because you light those and they burn out. But these, they just keep flickering. This is an awesome setup here, guys. Look at the Ghostbusters setup. The new Ghostbusters movie is coming out very soon. And look at this, they have a giant inflatable Stay Puft. I bet he's about, he's probably about five feet tall there. What in the world is this though? It's an inflatable costume, but it must be a new ghost from the new Ghostbusters movie because I've never seen it before. We got the Ghostbusters ghost trap here and an inflatable proton pack. But why are they all Spangler? Like there's no other choices of costumes besides Spangler. Okay, let's go back in here and look at some of these costumes that they have set up. Wait a minute, look at this. It's a Mandalorian shoulder Yoda. It's a Yoda that sits on your shoulder. Okay, now this is really cool. If you're pulling your kids around in a wagon to go trick-or-treating, this is a pirate ship that you decorate your wagon with to make it look like they're going in a pirate ship. And here's like a sports car. This one is awesome. And then what is this one? A royal carriage? Look, this is an x-ray costume. You put it on and it looks like you're getting an x-ray of your body. Ooh, it lights up too. How cool is that? <laughs> what in the world? It's a witch house for a cat. Yes, they have Harry Potter stuff. And look, they have the Harry Potter robes. These are so cool. Target is killing it this year. Oh, I love this one. Look, you can be a mummy instead of actually like trying to wrap yourself up in toilet paper to be a mummy. Oh my gosh, look, it's Woody's hat. You always see the costume, but you never just see the hat. What in the world? You can be a taco. Now I wanna go to Taco Bell. Look at this. It's a taco costume. <laughs> you can be a waffle. You can be a wiener. You can be a mustard. Okay, here's an inflatable avocado, but this is the one I really like. The inflatable giraffe. What the heck, that one is awesome. Ah, oh, this one's cool too, look, it's an inflatable gorilla. Oh my gosh, the little would love this. My granddaughter would go nuts on this. There's probably about a 97% chance that I will see her wearing this at Halloween. Holy crap, guys, there's a whole aisle I almost missed. Look at this, it's a jack-o'-lantern with man-eating plants. Oh, we got a button, okay. What? Oh crap, it's falling apart. <laughs> it's singing gimme, 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 gimme candy. Okay, hold on, let me see if I can fix it. I'm sorry, Mr. Plant. I don't know how you fell off of there, but there you go. All right, let's try it again. There you go. Oh crap, he's falling off again. And what is this one? It's like they're all plants, but they're plants that want to harm you. <laughs> Look at this. It looks like lips with teeth. Does it light up or anything? I don't see any buttons on there. And look, down here there's even bigger ones. I don't see a button on these either. So I don't think they're animated, but look at that. It's man-eating plants and there's bones in its vines. And here's a whole bunch of things with buttons, guys. It's so quiet in here that it makes it weird when you're pushing buttons, but I don't even care. Let's do it. I see you too. I'm watching you. I'm watching you too. <laughs> okay, look at this one, dragon plate. I can see you too, I know. Okay, what? Okay, I get it. Hush your little lips there, okay. All right, we got the uh, dragon door knocker. Ooh, look, it's knocking. <laughs> Enter if you dare, he said. Okay, and then we got this guy over here. I don't think we've looked at this one yet. Oh, okay, here we go. He said, I hope you hang around for a while. You can barely hear him though because of his chattering jaw. Look, we have the Wheel of Fate. Ooh. Okay, what's gonna happen here? Oh, okay, we got a pointer. Okay. 
Give me something good. Don't wander too far. I wonder if that means I'm... I guess I spoke too soon. He said it for me. Spooky spectacular. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. Look at it. We got a haunted house on top. Spooky jack-o'-lanterns. And then a plethora of ghosts and cats. It's a band. Look, that guy's like the band leader. And then that cat is playing drums. Um, he must be playing a pumpkin. We got a trick-or-treat lantern. Okay, he lights up. You can kind of see that there. Okay, and then what's this? Ooh, it's a cauldron. Oh, this is a misting cauldron, I think. Yeah, because that's the thing. You pour some water in there up to the line, and then that creates a mist coming out of the cauldron. I like that. Here's a spooky phone. All right, try me. Oh, here we go. Yes. Hello. Okay. It's all it does is rings. I'm out of candy, I think she said. Here's a skull. Let's see if he's got a button. No, no button, but he's a color-changing skull, so you must just use batteries for him. Okay, let's see what the black cat does. <laughs> All right, kitty, I've heard enough of you. All right, let's see what this one does. Easier to see him if I bring him up here. Young Traveler. I'd like to tell you a tale, but I'm afraid I'm a bit rusty, he said. All right, let's try the wolf here. This one looks pretty cool. Look at that. All right. Oh. Okay. Oh, yes. He sounds like Mr. Howl. Well, kind of. Here's a little, looks like a snow globe. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I think it's bats that are flying around. Let's see if we can tell. Yeah, they're like mini little bats in there that fly around when you push the button. Pretty cool. Here's a little haunted TV. Look at that setup in there. Where's the, oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> Pumpkin Park, it says. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, let's see. We also have a pumpkin over here with this little guy. Let's see what he does. Yes. They're dancing around the haunted house inside the pumpkin. Look at this, guys. Trick-or-treaters, stop here. I bet you anything... Okay, yeah, it lights up. But we got a plug that's not plugged in. That's pretty cool, though. And then look at this. We have a whole pumpkin, like, lamp stand here, I guess you'd call it. What is this? It's a mini pumpkin. It says try me, but... Oh. Okay, it's a trick-or-treat pumpkin. Oh, look at this, it's only 40 bucks for that one, guys. The trick-or-treaters stop here sign. This stuff actually reminds me of stuff you'd see on that movie, Hubie Halloween. I'm gonna have to watch that when I get home. What is this? Balloon yard game? Okay, this is like a party pack and it's got all kinds of stuff in here. Well, for a party. Oh my gosh, look at this. Holy crap, it's a mummy bowling game. The pins are like little mummies. That is so cool. Okay, we got a couple more things here to check out. Look at this. There's a couple more down here, even with more try me buttons. We'll get to those. But look at this. They're like little pumpkins with skulls. This one is, what do you call this thing? A unicorn, a pumpkin bat. And look at the green one here. This has got to be like a dragon. Yes, it's a dragon. It looks like the dragon from Shrek. Oh, look, we have a try me witch. What in the heck is she doing even? Okay, that's very strange. All right, let's check out this black cat here, see what he does. Try me. Okay, just lights up. I like the yellow eyes though, that's cool. And let's check this guy out. It looks like a skeleton by a headstone with a pumpkin. 
Yeah, that's pretty awesome, actually. Look at the face on the skeleton. Okay, we gotta do these two because they have try me buttons. Here's a ghost. Look at his face. <laughs> oh. Don't fall, Mr. Ghost. And then we have the pumpkin stack. Let's try him, too. Does he have a... Oh, here we go. Look at him dancing. Okay, I guess that's it. He's pretty funny, though. Gotta love pumpkin stacks. And this stuff here is so cool. It's like you could make your own little town. Look, you have the haunted houses. You have these trucks. Oh, it's like a hearse with a coffin on the back. And look at this one. It's a black car with a small pumpkin stack. And then up here you have the street lights and little candy corn looking trees. And here's black trees and orange trees. And then here's signs like street signs. So yeah, you could make your own little Halloween town out of all that stuff. I almost missed all the Day of the Dead stuff here, guys. Check this stuff out. Look, we'll always remember you. And then, what in the heck? is this oh this is cool you can make sugar cookie skulls look at that that is awesome hello little fella hold on we got another try me okay i guess it just lights up you'd have to really see this in the dark to see it light up i do like these candles though day of the dead candles look at the pink one that's cool all right guys that is it for the target i know i missed a handful of things in there but i gotta tell you out here look at this look at that sky it is so halloweeny and spooky it is so spooky and cold out here just like an awesome fall day i am ready to have a fire with some s'mores I told you to stay away oh my God. <laughs>